Welcome back to the Sunday Night Sports Blitz. Things are looking up for the Plain Dealing Lions football program. Thanks in large part to their energetic second year head coach. I'm really thankful for you because you've done a good job. Finished it the right way. Things are looking up for the Plain Dealing Lions. Their head coach, Christopher Wilson, it's a big reason why. He has a lot of very positive ups and ups that like take him beyond coaches we've had so far. It's like he just inspires his players in different ways coaches don't. In Wilson's first year, the Lions finished three and five, with COVID keeping the team out of the postseason. In 2021, the team has a new look and a new attitude. Brand new uniforms, brand new swag, you know, they're getting noticed and they're getting attention from people all over the state. We don't want to be the team that gets off the bus and just looks good. We want to be the team that gets off the bus, looks good, and is competitive. This one, this one, this one. With participation on the rise, the Lions' depth is better than in years past. But fielding a team of just 25 kids still has its challenges. It's about uh, building a type of program where kids actually want to be a part of it. And I only want kids that want to be here. Right now we got kids out and I got an eighth grader in at right tackle. That's just what we have to deal with. In year two of the Christopher Wilson era, the goal is taking the next step. And in one of the larger districts in 1A, it's a challenge the Lions are embracing. You know, Calvary returning state champion, uh, Homer being loaded and not losing a lot, Glenbrook coming in. And so there, there isn't a break. There isn't a week where we can look at the schedule and kick our feet up and say, I oh, will be all right. With this 23 and 23 report, I can't feel my heart. I'm Wesley Boone. The Northwood Falcons 2020 season ended in dramatic fashion. A one point loss to Leesville in the playoffs. In 2021, head coach Austin Brown is up the ante and his team has responded. Uh, every day that we've shown up, we've had a purpose and we've had a meaning. We had a vision of what we want to accomplish. Northwood knows how to put on a show. And in year two of the Austin Brown era, Coach Brown is making things even more interesting. Upping the stakes, scheduling Benton, Houghton, and Central Baton Rouge. As far as the schedule and stuff, we, uh, the players never blinked an eye. You know, who the teams are, our motivation for us. We go out and we go beat, you know, something, all these 5 eight teams that we have in this tough schedule. It'll give us, you know, a face on the map so people know that when we come to town, we come to play ball and you're not just going to run over We've had that mentality this whole offseason that we're starting the season off in the playoffs. Last season in the playoffs, the Falcons lost a heartbreaker to Leesville, a game that has stuck with the team all offseason. Very few days that that game don't cross my mind. It kind of just lit a fire in all of us in the offseason. Uh, everybody worked a lot harder. Um, we, you know, we, we want to meet them again this year and, um, you know, to have a different outcome. The, the Leesville game, if we took that real person, we felt like we should have went farther. This season, the Falcons are going to go farther. It will have to be without all-time leading rusher Terrence Cook. But Cook was very quick and had great vision. We're not replacing him. Uh, you can't do that. But we do have Hugh White, who was, he was his backup last year. He was second team all district as a backup. In year two of the Austin Brown era, the expectations are sky high. And the Falcons are poised to rise to the occasion. With this 23 and 23 report, I'm Wesley Boone. Staying in the 318, the Parkway Panthers have established themselves as one of the best producers of NFL talent in the southern region of the U.S. But the success on the field hasn't translated. The Panthers are looking to change that in year two of the Coy Brothers in era. At Parkway, the Panthers are looking to prove they belong with the best in 5A. We're kind of playing the underdog role in our hands right now. The program had one of the great NFL draft performances in the country a year ago, with two alumni drafted and a third added as an undrafted free agent. You know, Terrace getting drafted and Israel getting drafted. There's a lot of motivation, you know, the success hasn't been there, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be new for Parkway this year. Something that isn't new anymore? Head coach Coy Brotherton, who enters his second year at the helm of the program. With COVID, you know, we weren't able to really get to meet the kids, know the kids, uh, and learn them. You know, but now we've been with them for over a year, uh, had a great off season. Last year, you know, they were here to set the foundation. And, you know, we uh, were just getting everything right last year. Now this year, it's time to go. The Panthers will return nine starters on offense. The driving force, quarterback Cannon Link. We're going to go as far as he can take us. And, uh, I'm very excited about what Cannon brings to the table. We're coming out strong. I mean, like last year, we started off real slow. And like you said, we ended great. So I feel like we'll do the same thing this year. That great ending, three straight wins after an 0-4 start. 
The Panthers will look to keep the streak alive with non-district matchups against Minden and Huntington. But it's the team's final game Coach Brotherton is most looking forward to. November 5th, Halton at Parkway. Prediction for that game. Uh, Brotherton's going to win. With this 23-23, I'm John Sartori.